Wait a minute. This isn't the studio. What's happening? Hmm. Wait, why are you here? I'm doing today's video. Well, I'm here because I'm doing today's video. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. I have it on my calendar that I'm supposed to do today's video. I already scheduled it. We have it all planned out. I'm doing the video today. Uh, yeah, but here's the thing. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and do today's video because today's my day to do the video. <laughs> it's weird. Okay, okay, we'll agree to disagree, but let's just have you do it today and then I can come back next week and do it. See, this is great. Teamwork in action. Teamwork, there you go. See you later. Well, now that we've figured that out, thanks for joining us in worship today. We're going to be praising God, learning from the Bible, and having some fun as well. Later, we're gonna take communion. So if you have bread and juice available, you can go ahead and prepare for communion right now. If you don't have bread and juice at home, don't worry. Whatever you have in your kitchen is gonna work just fine. We'll take the Lord's Supper together in just a few minutes. You can pause this video now to prepare for communion and come back whenever you're ready. Now, let's take a quick look at what we're learning this month. Our theme is the big give, get wrapped up in Christmas. We can get wrapped up in a lot of things through the Christmas season, but the real reason we celebrate is that God gave us the greatest gift in Jesus. Let's talk about our life app. At First Kid City, we study a life app every month, and you might be wondering, oh, what is a life app? Well, a life app is what God is doing in us to change the world around us. And this month, our life app is Christmas, celebrating Jesus, God's greatest gift. If you need a reminder of the true reason for the Christmas season, open your Bible. In God's word, you can read about Jesus' birth in the beginning chapters of the Gospel of Luke. Read this narrative with your family at home in the days leading up to Christmas. We love to memorize scripture at First Kids City. We believe it's important to love God's word and have it in our heads and in our hearts. This month, we're studying Luke 2.11. Let's read it together. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. To memorize this verse, work with your parents to come up with some motions. Connecting scripture to motions helps us to memorize it better so that it's in our head and hearts whenever we need it. All right, do you know what time it is now? That's right, it's game time. Get ready to go. Hey guys, welcome to game time. I'm Karis. And I'm Mitchell. Mitchell, what game are we playing today? Today we're gonna play Eminem Color Wars. How you play is you get a pack of M&Ms just like this, and we're gonna pour them on the table and sort them in all their different colors. Mm -hmm. The goal is to sort them fastest. Are you ready, Karis? I'm ready, are you? All right, I am. Ready? Three, two, one, go! go. Oh, oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brother. Um, <laughs> which one are you doing? What, what color are you doing first? Um, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing orange first. So it looks like we have different strategies. I'm just going as I go, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. Done. What? Woo, I, only had, I only had three red ones, what the heck? That's not fair. Well, good Dang job, it. Paris. A for effort. Well, good, good job, good Thank job. Thank you. I almost had it. If you played along, be sure to send us pictures or videos of you playing, and we may put them in next week's video. All right, Karis, you ready for worship? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Let's get ready to worship.
set your sun down and set me free Everything of this world will fade I'm pressing on till I see your face I will live that your will be done I won't stop till your kingdom come We are going to continue our time of worship today by taking communion, the Lord's Supper, together. If you have already prepared your bread and juice, that's great. If you don't have bread and juice available right now, whatever you have on hand is perfect. As we begin this time together, we remember that God's people have gathered to take this meal for many years. During this time, God's people always do two things. We remember Jesus and we celebrate Jesus. Jesus entered our world as a baby, but he grew up and performed miracles. He taught people about God's kingdom. He healed the sick. He served others. Jesus never once sinned. He lived a completely perfect life. Jesus came to redeem us, to save us from our sins by dying on a cross. On the night before he was arrested, Jesus gathered his disciples together for a Passover meal. As they were eating, Jesus did something a little out of the ordinary. He took some bread, broke it into a bunch of pieces, and passed it out to his friends. He told his friends that the bread represented his body, that they should eat it in remembrance of him. Then Jesus took a cup and told them that this was his blood of the covenant, poured out for the forgiveness of sins. This seemed kind of odd, but Jesus was starting something new. On the same day when Jewish people celebrated their freedom from Egypt, how God led them to the promised land, Jesus started a new day to remember and celebrate. A day when all people would be free from sin and death. In just a few short hours, Jesus would be arrested and crucified. He would get the punishment for the sins that we committed. It was a terrible thing. But because of what Jesus did, we no longer have to be separated from God. We are free to live with him wholly and completely. We remember the life that Jesus led, how he never sinned, his amazing teachings and miracles, and we celebrate how he died for our sins and three days later rose again in the resurrection, defeating sin and death forever. And all of God's people to this day gather together and share this meal as one family in Christ. Today, if you would like to remember and celebrate Jesus with us, we invite you to take communion at home right now.
One of the most important things you can do to love Jesus is to love God's heart. At First Kids City, that's just how we talk about prayer. Prayer is simply sharing your heart with God and letting Him share His heart with you. It's like talking to a close friend or a relative. Today, we are going to pray together as a family. I'm going to pray over us, and when I'm finished, we will all say amen together, which simply means I agree. I encourage you to go ahead and get into a posture of prayer at home right now. The position of our bodies can impact the position of our hearts toward God. Feel free to get down on your knees, lay face down on the floor, stand with your hands reaching out toward God, or even just fold your hands and close your eyes. All right, are you ready? Let's pray together. Father, today we come before you to worship. We thank you for everyone who is tuning in today to worship with us. We ask your blessing be on all of us as we learn from your word. Open our eyes to see the truth, and may we learn to love like Jesus. And all God's kids say, amen. Now, let's get ready to hear a message from God's Word. Oh, hey, good. You're just in time. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Mm hmm I'm in time to watch you do that? No, to watch our Christmas tree grow. To watch it. I gotta get some water. You know, it's gonna take a long time for a Christmas tree to grow, like, like 10 years. Oh, you of little faith. See? Wow, good work. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Ah! Whoa! Run! Run! Oh! Hello, everybody, and welcome to the So and So Show. As you can see, it's Christmas time, so we've really gotten into the Christmas spirit. Oh yeah! Yeah. Hey, John, how do you like to get into the Christmas spirit? Ah, uh, you know the usual stuff: mm -hmm. singing carols, baking cookies, reenacting Christmas movies with sock puppets. Hi, buddy. Hope you find your dad. <laughs> Wow, this candy cane forest is ginormous! And I'm singing! And I'm in the forest! And I'm singing! Oh! Oh, this is, oh, this is a pokey! Yeah! How do you get in the Christmas spirit? I'm glad you asked. One of my favorite things to do is to go out and buy a few Christmas presents for my family and friends. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, but what I don't love doing is, is wrapping the presents. Uh -huh. I'm terrible. Look, here's a present that I wrapped. <laughs> See, it's- Oh, uh, wow. Sorry. That's yeah. awful. So today I'm very excited because I have found someone to help me with my problem. Oh, cool, who is it? Her name is Cheryl. Uh -huh. I overheard people at the mall saying that she is the best Christmas rapper in the state. Oh, well, I wonder what makes her so special at Christmas. You know, I bet she ties really good bows mm -hmm. and then can can do the little curly thing at the end with the scissors. Uh, you I know, can, I can never do that. Well, right. You know what? I also bet she uses the most beautiful wrapping paper in every color with like really unique, one of a kind Christmas designs. Yeah, I bet she folds the paper perfectly so it doesn't bunch or crinkle. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you got me excited about Christmas. I know. I know. Everybody, please welcome someone who knows stuff. Woo! Oh, hey, hey, come on in. in. Come on Hi. in. Hi. Thank you. Yes, Thank absolutely. You. Absolutely. So, Cheryl, the legendary Christmas rapper, tell us who you are and what you know. Well, you kind of just did that for oh, me. Uh, whoops, I'm sorry, I'm just so excited. <laughs> oh, no need to apologize. I see my reputation precedes me. That's right, mm -hmm. I am so thankful that you're here. I have, I have so many things for you to wrap. Mm. I have uh, this candle for my Aunt Sue, oh. um, a cat calendar for Grandma, she loves cats, and I have for my nephew uh, this card game. Mm. So, can you help? Of course, I can totally wrap those. Oh, right. <laughs> 
listen up, people, cause Christmas is here. Brandon's brought some presents for people. He finds the kitty, cow enough for grandma, a cattle for Aunt Sue, and the last is some cards for Brandon's nephew. Word. What? <laughs> that was awesome. That was uh, that was quite unexpected. <laughs> uh, unexpected. Yeah. But you've heard of me. I'm Cheryl, the Christmas rapper. Yeah, right. You, you're. Oh, <laughs> Christmas. So you don't you don't actually you don't wrap presents? You <laughs> no. Wrap. Not with paper. Okay. <laughs> Bicycles, candy canes, baby dolls, picture frames. Oh, oh man, this okay. is the best misunderstanding that's ever happened to me. Can, uh, can, can you rap about other stuff about Christmas? Of course. Okay, okay. Uh, what should we rap about? Uh, uh, baby cake. Jesus. Uh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> you said baby Jesus yeah. and you said... Fruit cake. Hmm. <laughs> How about a mashup? Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's great. God sent baby Jesus on Christmas Day many years ago in a manger he lay. Here's a love for us we cannot measure, but like a fruitcake, it lasts forever! Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> wow, yes. Jesus and fruitcake. Yeah, you don't get closer to Christmas than that. No, you don't. Nope. <laughs> now, my only conundrum um, is that I still don't have a way to actually wrap my gifts. Hmm. Maybe we can figure out how to wrap them together. Yeah, yeah. yeah there we go. Oh, well, you know what? But first, uh, can you uh, can you uh, get us into our next segment? I can do that. Mm. <laughs> Colored lights hanging up and down the street. Kids are decorating their Christmas tree. I'm running out of rhymes and we're running out of time. So I think we better be yelling. It's Bible story time with Kelly. Oh, oh, yeah. oh man. Hey, fellas. Hey, Kellen. Looking good, Kellen. I love that outfit. Thank you, thank you. Gotta spread that Christmas spirit. Yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. And speaking of Christmas spirit, I've got some amazing Bible verses today all about God's plan to send Jesus. And that is why we celebrate Christmas. Take it away. These verses come from the book of Isaiah. Now, Isaiah was a prophet in Jerusalem who lived about 700 years before Jesus was born. He told the people of Israel the things that God told him to say. And one really amazing thing that God told him was this. A child will be born to us. A son will be given to us. He will rule over us. Can you guess who the child was that Isaiah wrote about? It was Jesus. God's people were in need of a savior and God had a plan to send his son Jesus. God told Isaiah what the Savior would be like, and Isaiah wrote it down. He wrote, And he will be called Wonderful Advisor and Mighty God. He will also be called Father who lives forever and Prince who brings peace. Wow! Those are some incredible names that God gave to Jesus. And to help us remember those names, I've got our favorite cheer squad. Let's give it up for Jackie and Dee Dee. Hey, Kellen. Hey, Jackie. Yeah, Dee Dee? What do you think of all these names for the Savior? Hmm. I think they deserve a good beat. Hit it. Super strong, he's there for us all day long. Father forever, Prince of Peace. Father forever, Prince of Peace. He loves us so much, his peace is free. These are his names for eternity. Woo! That is definitely going to help us remember all of those names. Well, let's see what else Isaiah wrote about Jesus. There will be no limit to how great his authority is. The peace he brings will never end. He will rule on David's throne and over his kingdom. He will make the kingdom strong and secure. His rule will be based on what is fair and right. It will last forever. The Lord's great love will make sure that happens. He rules over all. Wow, that is a lot. But let's take a look and see what Jackie and Dee Dee have in store for us. Give me an F, F. Give me an O, O. Give me an R, R. E, V, E, R, forever. His kingdom will last forever. He will rule forever. His peace 
will last forever. For E, B, E, R, forever. Nice. But did you guys hear that? God told Isaiah that the Savior would rule forever. No one can ever have more power or authority than he does. God gave Jesus a kingdom that will never end. That's amazing. And it was God's plan from the very beginning. Cheer squad. Want to finish this out? Absolutely. Didi, yeah. are you thinking what I'm thinking? Well... If you're thinking about how amazing God's plan is, then yes, that's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> Twins. A plan was created because of God's love to give us a savior sent from above. Now Jesus will rule forever as king. He gave us his plans and that's why we sing. Joy to the world. Great job. Huge thanks to our cheer squad. You crush it every time. Oh, thanks, Kelly. Thanks, Kellen. Oh, Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. That is incredible. Isaiah spoke about who Jesus was and what he would do hundreds of years before Jesus came to earth. Yep. God had a plan to save the world and bring people back into a relationship. And God prepared the way for Jesus through Isaiah. You know, I, I love all the names we have for Jesus. Wonderful advisor, mighty God. <laughs> yep, I'm going to have all those cheers stuck in my head. Yeah, me too. Thanks for the Bible story, Kellen. Anytime. I'll see you guys next week. You know, we wouldn't even have Christmas if God hadn't sent Jesus. It's just so cool to get to celebrate God's amazing plan. That's true, and it's a good inspiration for... Reveal the question! Mm. What are your plans for Christmas? Hmm, well, God made the ultimate Christmas plans. I'm sure you don't make your plans hundreds of years in advance, but I bet you do have some plans. Like going ice skating, uh, baking cookies. Yeah, or maybe visiting your grandma. Uh, you could even make plans with your friends to do something nice, like uh, surprising your teacher with a special gift or uh, singing Christmas carols in a nursing home. Yeah, whatever you plan, I hope you have a wonderful start to this very special season. I'm Brandon. And I'm John. And this has been the So-and-So show. Let's wrap it. The, Ready? The, the, okay. And I'm John. And I'm Brandon. And, and this, this is the So and So show that you're listening to. On. 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 Merry Christmas. Now, if you have a ribbon, wrap it around and give it a curl while we all say wow. 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 What? Wow! 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 Oh, there it is! That is a rap, rap. Oh man, that's great! Hey, did you, hey, did you, did you put the present in the box? Oh man! Oh. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on First Kids City Online. You're always invited to join us for services at First Church at 9.30 or 11 a.m. every Sunday morning. We also offer midweek programming for kids. Join us every Wednesday night at 6.15 p.m. for intentional discipleship in small groups throughout the school year. Invite others to join in the fun and worship online with us. Be sure to like this video, subscribe, and share your experience on social media. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram. We have all kinds of events for kids to be part of here at First Church. Head over to our website or app and see what's happening. That's all we have for today. We'll see you next time on First Kids City Online.